everybody, this is Christian from ReviewTube 200. Today I'm going to be showing you um, a new piece of software from Pixaria.com. Um, they're now offering a, an artistic piece of software called um, Twisted Brush. Now Twisted Brush is, some people view it as an alternative to Photoshop. Um, me, I just like to view it as a kind of advanced paint because it's it's the kind of thing it, it, it has some of the functions from Photoshop in it like you can do you can put layers in, you can put filters in or whatever you can even do masks and new layers it's it's more of like an, an artistic software you can use to create fancy images possibly if you're a manga artist you can do manga really well I'm going to show you a bit of my um, manga I did earlier but I'm going to show you that a bit later first I'm just going to go through some of the some of the benefits of um, Twisted Brush now obviously you have all these tools down the side so you have pre -oil, so you have oil paint soft pastel gel pen pro pen lighter your blender eraser and you also have things like cloner um, and you have dodge and burn which is actually on the um, actually on Photoshop as well which is quite good so if I do that I, I can make things darker or whatever um, good thing about um, Twisted Brush is it does most of the same things that Photoshop does. It's just a little bit of a scaled down version. So, lots of artists from sites like DeviantArt um, use this partly because it's, it's it's such a good piece of software for animation and characters, characters and things like that. Um, if you want to use a special pencil pad on this, you can. You just plug it in in your USB drive, and obviously you can use a you can use a digital pencil pad to do your work, which makes it a lot easier because if you're doing a new file. A new file there. So if you're better, right. So if you're um, if you're trying to create an image, you know, like, like you've drawn it, this is possibly the perfect software to do it on because you can plug it in and it ends up looking really good because you've got all these tools. Um, it's got a huge range of real realistic paint brushes. So if I get the oil paint up, you can, you can adjust the um, brush size down here. You can adjust the density, even the opacity. So that's how. How kind of luminous the colour is. Also, you got all your colours down here. You can select that. So if I want, there we go. That's like a really pale yellow, and you see it smudges it. So realistic, it actually makes it look like a real. Makes it look like a real oil paint. It's it's um, it's very good in my opinion. You can use it for all sorts of things. If you want to edit a previous image, you just go under File, Load from File. Oh no, sorry. Load from file as new image because that will get rid of everything on the screen, and it'll and you choose a new image. You know, um, I choose the review tube logo and load it up. So yeah, oh, I mean, obviously that's not working because I'm an idiot. Right, I put a mirror's edge on. There you go. Anything really. I mean, like you can you can zoom in, you can zoom out. Um, if you want, if you're if you're if you're a manga artist, this is perfect because it's got such a wide range of pastels. Um, I'm gonna sh I'm, a I'm actually gonna show you something I did earlier um, using this software. It's a very good piece of software. Right, well, as you can see here, um, this is me using the software. I'm I'm, I'm quite into drawing things like um, manga, and obviously I'm quite a big animator. I like doing things like anime. So obviously this is perfect for me because it means I can create images like this really easily and really simply and really quickly actually. As you can see what I'm doing here, I'm just basically outlining the features like the arms and the hands and the hair so I can colour them in easier later. Um, it's Obviously since it's got a lot of tools, there's a lot you can do. I mean, if you watch tutorials on YouTube, you can, you can, I'm pretty sure you can learn some, learn some new techniques for doing anime and manga and things like that if, if you're into that. Um, it's it, it's just an excellent piece of software, really. I mean, look, I'm I'm outlining it here. You can zoom in and out. You can change the hair color if you want to. Um, so I'm putting a new layer on here so I can add facial features, hair color, whatever. Select a new file. Um, yeah, because because you can add new layers, you can pretty you can pretty much do what you, what you can do with Photoshop normally. So it's very good. Um, you see, I'm making the hair a different color here. It's a lot easier to do because. Um, now I've outlined everything. It's gonna, a, it's going to look a lot better, and B, it's just a lot easier to do because it because because it's a new it's a new lot uh, mask, new layer. You can add in these kind of things without going over the lines or smudging. So it's pretty much perfect, really. Um, if you want to add any comments in the uh, comment box below, that'd be great. Just leaving any comments as to what we should review next. If you like this video, please subscribe and like the video. Um, 
obviously I'm going to be doing more things like this, more software, more possibly more artistic software, depending on what you guys want, um, I'll do it. Okay, thanks. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.